Will John Boy and Olivia be able to forgive Grandpa Zeb for selling their horse to Kurt Willard tonight at 6pm on the Waltons? Find out later. But first, here's the Thames men. Hello, how you doing? We got, we got to, we got to get, we got to get more professional than this, George. We can't go. Da, da. <laughs> I, we, I was oh, years ago. I was all set to go learn some magic tricks because we were like the cheap magic tricks people, weren't we? And then uh, I did. you did a magic trick. I never got round to learning the magic trick. I just couldn't be bothered yeah. with it. But I will do it maybe one yeah. day. I'll do it one day. Failed, failed magicians. Failed magicians. Yeah, you know. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the Thamesman, the failed magician. Well, low budget, uh, high value entertainment, and I'm George in Los Angeles. I'm Alex, and I'm in Colorado, and you're in the middle of Australian week, and we're on day four. And the common theme with two imbeciles <laughs> leading the show is we know nothing about the bands we're watching. And today, George, Do Re Mi. How much do you know about Do Re Mi, Alex? Nothing. <laughs> How about you? Nothing. <laughs> right. so that's good <laughs> luckily there's it the, luckily there is a reaction channel called the Thamesman mm-hmm. and you learn a lot of uh, stuff about there's, the band. there's two ways you learn actually so we have Chris the curator who puts together a lot of these weeks and works with people to come up with a load of notes for us and we you know because we are literally watching these for the first time never having seen any of it before so you know it's a genuine impression and sometimes we're very much wrong at our opinions and people tell us and in the comments we then learn the rest of the story don't we mm-hmm. we do we do in the comments today there was someone very pissed off about vikings about a comment we oh, left really? Nine months ago, <laughs> and he was furious about Vikings. Really? What did we say about well, Because we said they're Danish or something, or what was it? Oh, I don't know, but I, I just kept telling him. <laughs> you kept you telling un- him. You overestimate <laughs> us. You right. It's just complete ignorance. Do we look like and experts on Vikings? He, Are we the Viking channel? He kept, he, kept, he kept coming up with more and more facts about And I said, listen, mate. <laughs> We're idiots. You don't, you don't, you know, just assume we know nothing. He would, you know, and in the end, he apologised. <laughs> did he really? You had a real Barney, did you? Yeah. You had a bit of a... No, no, I kept telling yeah. him, listen, mate, I don't know anything about Vikings, leave me alone. <laughs> he was coming with more and more Viking stuff. He was like, and then, and then, and then he actually said, I might have been a bit harsh. <laughs> he was like, I still don't know fuck all about But well, if you read his notes, you might have. <sighs> The problem is you have to read. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Well, talk about reading. We have got some notes on Do Re Mi, and we've got a track from 1985 called Man Overboard. Should, should cool. I read the notes? Do there you want to read go. the notes? Yeah. Um, go on, then. Formed. Butcher. I'll butcher them. Formed in 81 and led by the amazing vocals of Deborah Conway, Do Re Mi worked their way up through the pub scene, mingling their originals with Blondie and Devo covers. In 85, oh. they released their first album, Domestic Harmony, and their biggest hit, Man Overboard. The song courted controversy and some bannings with its mention of anal humour, pubic hair, and penis envy in the lyrics. Sounds right up our street, really, doesn't it? You know, uh, Right up your crack. <laughs> they would only release one further album, The Happiest Place in Town, before splitting for other projects, effectively quitting at the top of their game. Conway's strong voice and songwriting would continue as a solo career. And uh, that might be a hint, as because we've got a bonus track coming up, which uh, might be something along those lines. Mightn't it? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's your lucky day. You're going to have two tracks for the price of one. No, wait, not the only one of the pays. Cause anyway. <laughs> but there you go. Two tracks. Uh, just because just two tracks. Just two tracks for no good reason, really. You know? Yeah. So, all right. Well, let's do this one. Let's get straight in on Do Re Mi. Is that the name of the band? Do Re Mi. Do Re Mi. Far so. So yeah, uh, live on Rock Arena. So uh, yeah, Rock Arena. Rock Arena. So interesting. Like Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. I 
try not to stand To close myself I try not to listen To the things they say They say there's no such thing as self-abuse But you wonder how I can be trusted Can't find a tune or well adjusted Oh, pretty about you Oh, pretty about me Mom's so pretty about her Every time she comes inside You had to run You had to run You wish that clutch would go away You're not the only one Squirty and broad daylight Drumming up a conversation good that was super that was really that was good. really interesting you know what what a voice oh, she was amazing yeah. like you know again like so this is our second uh australian sort of female performer this week is it and uh, uh and yeah. uh just really like interesting like you know where, where does it come from like i suppose that pub rock furnace again isn't it you know just Utterly spell well said. Well said, but that that was really I love I love the way that they built that up. So you had the bass running straight down the line, and that just kept the rhythm. And then everything else was really jarring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The uh, you know the little stabs yeah. on the key that never fulfilled yeah. um, to the drums and the rotor toms that he never went into a rhythm. And he just hit the rotor toms around the side. So everything was really jarring, but the bass kept down the line. Um, and then there's a really very kind of um, nearly nearly male masculine female kind of powerhouse that went through and then this 
beautiful harmony from the drummer. That yeah, that was really there. interesting, wasn't it? Just that little, little touch there was... But not overdone. Yeah, yeah. Just, just came yeah. in. Just did a yeah. splash and then went and they just never heard of him again. It's just like, just exquisitely put together. I, it was great. It was, I, I honestly, so far this week, best one for me. I think really most interesting. They don't make music like that anymore. Yeah, I know. It, they don't. Yeah. They don't. They're, because that, it, it felt very talking heads. It felt very kind of avant-garde. It felt, it was absolutely full of fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And um, they just, they just don't. I, there's not as much uh, thought. I don't, I don't know. I can't. I can't yeah. pronounce. I can't I, I, find uh, the right words. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They just don't. You know. I loved it. It was intriguing all the yeah, way through. Yeah. It, it wasn't. Wasn't a moment where I thought it was dragging or or yeah. It was. I just like wanted to see what was, how it was going to progress, where it was going. You know. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, aren't we lucky? We got another track. Yeah, we got we? a bonus. So, that was Man Overboard. Ba -ba -ba -bonus. bonus. After the split of Do Re Mi, Conway immediately had further success with her first solo album, String of Pearls, in '91. The biggest single, solo single, is "It's Only the Beginning," which she describes an uncharacter uh, uh, char oh, characteristically characteristically. <laughs> we're, but we're going to watch the second single, mm. Mm, Release Me, which she performed at the 92 ARIA, A -R -I -A, or ARIA Awards with Vika and Alinda Bull after she won the Best Female Artist. Now, you see, I think Chris is pretty smart, you know, because for those who are paying attention, which isn't always us, um, uh, no. but we just watched uh, The Black Sorrows, who who had... Vicka and Linda Bull as the backing singers, and we raved about them. And and he is, he is smart. smart. He, he is ties smart. it all together, because, really, doesn't he? You know, so because uh, if you go back and watch that last video, we just honed in on those backing singers straight yeah, away. They, awesome. they 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 kind of were the star, and we've seen the them in other tracks as well. They've been they've been they've they're, 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 yeah on. yeah. I think it, I think it was the um, uh, what's his name, Stevie Wright, uh, one, two, and three, whatever it was. Right. I think it was there in that. I right. think it was that one and some other stuff. Yeah, so yeah. Quite a powerhouse. Yeah. All right, well, let's do this. So this is Deborah Conway with Vicar and Linda Ball. Release me as our bonus video. Three, two, one, boom.
evil little world Earthbound and dirty and stolen She's brilliant. She's so pretty goddamn good, isn't I she? I really like her voice, you know, I think. And yeah. her, her, her her aura, her presence, you know. She is she is a force of nature, I think, you know. She, do you remember Eddie Reader? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she reminded me of Eddie ah. Reader, the same sort of kind of confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but yeah, I mean, all of them are just, I mean, what a perfect match of voices up there that as well. That was great. Uh, it's interesting, like maybe it's that one track, but maybe yeah. You know, keep going back to the sort of idea of what is what what makes Australian music stand out. It it sort of it's it's these sort of range of influences, but there's always a, sometimes a little bit of country in there or folk that kind of underlies it somewhere. I think you know, and 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 I don't know. I I really like that. I don't know. I think it's. I think. It's it's so it's such so small nuances. It could be attitude. It could be just honesty. Yeah, yeah. It could be authentic. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're very down to earth musicians. By the seam, it seems like I could approach any one of these people and have a chat. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's yeah. not they're they're not up on some pedestal. And I think it's the cultural, you know, the the uh, a cultural medal of Australia that they should have this because everyone from Paul Kelly to to Barnsley, whatever, all seem so just. Genuine. Yeah, like people you just want to hang with and, and have a chat, you know, whatever, you know, be like, yeah. And they wouldn't be cocks about it either. They would just say, hello, yeah. you know, have a yeah, drink, yeah, yeah. you know, come on yeah. over here. But maybe we're wrong. They would just go over there and just say, oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> maybe, you know, but we can live in our in our fantasy world, can't we? You know, so. Invite us down to Australia, everyone. Yeah. Well, you know, then tell us. Oh, to well, give, us that, give us that. <laughs> give us that. Give us that. Va Holden, and uh, we'll be good. You know. So yeah. All right. Um, that was absolutely superb. Absolutely brilliant. What a God, another just top singer out of the draw. <sighs> so so that was day four. So day five, uh, last day for non patrons, uh, and then we'll have day six on uh, on our patron channel. So <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm. I'm pack my bags i'm going down Australia. <laughs> I wish, you know we've got a couple of friends who live down there and they send photos like on, on a sort of shared stream we have and like you know they're sort of like you go really guys do you have to show us all this stuff it looks far too yeah, cool but are they happy are they happy well really? in their big houses with their four-wheel drives and their like you know motorbikes and stuff like that yeah yeah but are they happy are they happy really yes <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bastards all right i'll see you on, the flip, see you on the flip side bye-bye